all those different lights throughout day nine. Well, I've been having fun the last few days. I have decided to finally watch all the movies I've been hoarding for years and years and years. Um, as a student of cinema and media, um, I have an appreciation for older films and my library is fairly extensive. I've got a lot of um, old movies from the 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s and that. Um, I have the ability to actually watch old films and black and white films. I know a lot of people don't. They can't watch anything that wasn't made in the last five years. And the idea of watching a black and white film or something like that is just alien to them. But um, I quite enjoy them. But um, yeah, I, I amassed a lot of films and I, I was just hoarding them. It's like I was waiting to watch them one day, like saving up this library for when I was like old and I had time to watch them. And then I realised... You could die tomorrow and it'd be a travesty if you never watched all these movies you've been hoarding and I sort of was afraid I think if I watched them what would I have left to watch I'm like well you can watch them twice so I just have sort of started doing that um and I started off first off you sort of want to look at all the divas like Liz Taylor and Betty Davis and Joan Crawford and you know all those sort of people and sort of go for all their films and there's just films that I've just heard of by name by reputation or I've studied on some level or maybe I watched them when I was doing studying film and that but um, I haven't seen them like for years but um yes yeah, so I started off just watching films like um I was in a bit of an Agatha Christie mood it just happened we'd had a warm patch um when we hit spring and then we sort of went back some rainy weather and it was just that sort of murder mystery sort of feeling um weather and I ended up watching um um Murder on the Orient Express, um, Death on the Nile, I watched The Mirror Cracked, I watched um, the new um, Murder, on the or Murder on the Orient Express, I watched Ten Little Indians and then there were none and that just put me in the mood and then I started to look at um, just a lot of the diva movies that I haven't sort of watched. Um, there's a lot of old classics that I've heard of a million times but never watched like The Wales of August which was um, Lillian Gish's last film with Betty Davis. Um, some of her later films that don't sort of have the um, cachet of her older classics, but she kept working right through to, I think, 1980-something. Um, and I, I'm just enjoying going through these older films. I went through the other night and I watched, um, oh, God, um, Crimes of Passion with um, Barbara Stanwyck. Um, I hope I don't get some of these names wrong. And I watched... Um, the other one I watched two of them in a row um oh um Madame X with um um Lana Turner and there's another one with Lana Turner oh um Peyton was it Peyton Place oh god I'm not remembering all the names um oh what else was there, there was something else I watched I just I just had a bunch that were just sitting there and I'm just like I'm just going to go for these first they're ones that I had in my fol um my my Disc folios that were mixed in with other ones and that um and I'm just really enjoying them and I'm just so glad that I actually I feel bad for people who can't watch the older films who can't sort of watch anything that isn't like five years old and can only watch what they're sort of what they know rates or what the, what is you know gets streaming views or whatever they they they, they can't sort of categorize anything that you know hasn't no, it's just so I'm just glad that I have this library and I can appreciate it and I'm just working through I'm just going to try and watch as many movies as I can each day until I'm all done. And, you know, like, this is sort of my before I die marathon. Like, before I die, I have to watch all these films. And I'm just going to try and watch them all. Um, Midnight Lace with Doris Day was another one I watched. That was great. Um, I was sort of trying to go for all the sort of darker sort of um, films because each, each of those leading ladies had at least one or two dark films. Like, I th I've got a bit of a Betty Davis marathon that's sort of piling up there's um the nanny um burnt offerings um uh something else that she did and there's some of this taylor ones that as well i want to watch so i'm just working out and putting them all in little categories and making little um little marathons out of them and i just i just wanted to sh share that because i really enjoy it i think you know everyone should do it i think everyone should um you know watch movies like you're gonna die tomorrow and you know sort of go through and find out all the old classics that you haven't watched like a while ago I watched um, Casablanca which I think I did watch in film school but I couldn't remember it um, I know I watched the Maltese Falcon I think we watched the Maltese Falcon and just talked about Casablanca I don't think I've actually watched it um, 
and Citizen Kane, which I did see but I hadn't seen in years. So I've just been going back and revisiting all these old films and they really are great and, and just because they're older you just have to watch them as period pieces. They may have been contemporary at the time but just look at them as period pieces and enjoy them in their own context and um, I also feel really sad for people who can't view a film in its context and they look at it through today's filter and go, oh well this is wrong for this reason, it should be cancelled for that reason. So I'm going to watch Song of the South. I'm going to watch um, just a whole bunch of films that have been piling up. Um, um, oh, God, what was that one? Um, oh, there was another one that... It's, it's the song that's in that song, you know, about the ghost in the wishing well. I found that Disney film. I want to watch that. I'm just going to enjoy myself in the next few weeks. And I don't know if I'm going to review all of them because there's so many. But um, I just wanted to do a video just talking about it and sharing that with everyone.